as Israeli ground operation and airstrikes intensify, the situation in Gaza is getting worse by the day. Multiple international humanitarian organizations are making efforts to, to assist the people inside Gaza, but it's not enough. Our Che Soo-hyung heard the voices from inside. No more food, water. The current situation inside the Gaza Strip is getting worse, devolving into total chaos. Arirang News tried to contact a field manager for the international private humanitarian organization Oxfam operating in Gaza, but it was challenging due to frequent power outages there. There has been no positive change at all. Day after day, the situation is getting worse and worse. We were unable to access drinking water. We were forced to go out after dark to fill water jerry cans for children, managing to collect only 40 liters for over, over 100 people. Another humanitarian agency, the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, said that nowhere is safe across the Gaza Strip, even their shelters are not shelters anymore. We got the terrible, terrible news that um, four of our schools that are used as shelters were damaged uh, in, in the war, and um, there's at least 20,000 people who have been sheltering in those four schools. Um, we have um, dozens of people killed and injured. Along with thousands of innocent civilians, she has lost 72 colleagues who have been killed since the war began in Gaza. Everywhere there is people who uh, continue to be killed, including our own staff. For example, um, last night we lost um, one of our colleagues. Her name was Mai. She's a young uh, girl in her 20s, um, a software developer who I actually know personally. She says serious hygiene problems are threatening the Palestinian refugees, causing a public health disaster. As the agency's schools and camps are also overcrowded, children at risk of life-threatening health issues are repeatedly increasing. It's a very grim situation, and with that comes obviously risks uh, due to lack of hygiene. We have reports that 400 people are sharing one toilet, as one example. We know that among children there's diarrhea, there's cavies, um, and that's not should not be surprising to anyone because of the living condition, how much it's overcrowded, uh, and the lack of sanitary. Currently, UNRWA is supplying flour for free to 70 bakeries in the Gaza Strip to enable people to have bread, but it covers only 3% of the total demand in Gaza, and even that is expected to run out within five to six days. Che Hyung, Arirang News.